The story starts with a Kudosai meeting Junko Hattori on the train to the Constant Magic Academy. There, the two make a powerful pact to make the world a better place, a pact that will mean death if broken. Upon arrival, Akuto is told he is destined to be the Demon King, so the entire school begins to fear him. After his introduction in class reaches Azila's climax, a fellow student named Hiroshi Miwa looks up to him, while the rest of the class becomes even more terrified. Eventually, Akuto slips up when he volunteers for cleaning duty, which is slang in the academy for becoming a cleaner, an assassin that maintains the school's secrets. This infuriates Junko, who challenges him to a duel that ends with Akuno accidentally destroying the classroom in a magical explosion. His later attempts to reconcile with Junko at her dorm again launch her into a destroying frenzy, resulting in a chase through the woods. There, Akuno runs into Kina Soga mid-fight, and she resolves to protect him for personal, though unspecified reasons. She is unable to do so, and Akuto again ends the fight with another freak explosion. Immediately after, he is greeted by Koron, an observer. Afterwards, Akuto meets with the principal of the academy with Karone, whom the principal ordered to stay with Akuto as a bodyguard and a judge of whether or not he will truly become a demon king. Akuto also meets with Fujiko Eito the following day, who pledges to help him despite his destiny. She later recommends that they meet in secret in the mountains behind the school and instructs him on how to disable Karone. En route, Akuto and Karone are attacked by a demon dog, an animal mutated by mana. Akuto is able to absorb the creature's mana and return it to a puppy, a feat that astounds Karone. The puppy then picks up Kina's scent, whose ability to become invisible is revealed. After deactivating Karone, Akuto rendezvous with Fujiko in the mountains, where she asks him to join the school's disciplinary committee to help clear his name. As an emergency way to reconcile with Junko, she also gives him a two-shot magical gun that fires medicinal tablets, which she claims will allow the two people shot by it to understand each other's feelings. On the way back, he is tackled by Kina, still fleeing from the puppy, and is rendered visible and exposed in clear view of the now-reactivated Koron. In exchange for testifying to Koron that Akuto did not try to do weird things to her, Kina requests his friendship, which he agrees to. At the end, Fujiko is shown contacting Junko, falsely claiming that Akuto had threatened her. Fujiko then enters a secret passage in her room, where she converses with her brother's dislocated head about her plans for Akuto. During a late-night soak in the male bathhouse, Hiroshi informs Akuto about the school's underground, and mentions that Junko gained her popularity at the school by fighting in this underground. As Fujiko arranges a meeting between Akuto and Junko the following afternoon, Akuto meets with the student council with regard to his application for being the disciplinary committee's representative. Akuto has to deal with Koron in order to meet with Junko, and decides the only way to ensure she is out of the way is by pulling her tail again which leads to a misunderstanding until Kina interrupts to dump her rice cooker on Akuto, since she was banned from keeping in her room, as a gesture and proof of their friendship. The meeting with Junko turns out to be an ambush by members of the underground and Akuto swiftly beats them, only for Junko to appear when the dust settles. Mistaking the act as a wrongdoing, she publicly calls Akuto out for punitive justice and together with a large crowd of students, chase Akuto around the school. However, Kina intervenes at the last moment before Junko can complete her punitive justice, as such, Junko admits that the situation got out of hand, and that she was partly responsible for the misunderstanding that prompted the mob to come after Akuto, only to have the mob call her out for turning back to Akuto's side. Koron then saves the situation by showering the angry mom of students in medicated rice. Shortly after, Kina's intervention manages to somehow make Junko and Akuto friends again, but during a class lesson on mana control, he knocks her unconscious again. Mitsuko recommends that he go into the mental discipline chamber, one where people are said to have died. Akuto gets depressed, but for some strange reason, Koron and Kina tag along and he is caught between the two of them. They find a mysterious map and Kina is intrigued, wondering if it is a treasure map. Fujiko recognizes what the map truly is. The next day, Kina copies the map and posts it all over the school. It becomes the talk of the whole academy because students keep getting hurt as they try to find the treasure. Akuto, in his role as the disciplinary committee member, insists that they give up looking, but a girl named Aiko Turia suddenly appears, and he ends up having to find it himself. Now with the four of them, the group go to the school's underground labyrinth to find the spot on the map. However, they encounter a cloaked being who tries to stop them with swarms of bats, but is easily defeated. Akudo then digs up a plush recording device buried under a tombstone that guides them to an abandoned research facility, where they are attacked by an armored statue. Inside the statue, Aiko finds a screen that points to an underground shrine behind a cavern hot spring. Meanwhile, Junko, Kina, and Fujiko make their way to the labyrinth. Junko, 
who fell underground into the hot spring, tells Akuto that Aiko is actually a government spy. Suddenly, a savage wolf comes after them, but they are saved when Kina and Fujiko arrive. Aiko, in tears after seeing Akuto protect Junko over her, leaves after giving him a key from the shrine. When Fujiko activates the key, it transports them to the headquarters of the student council, who were responsible for the attacks. It is then revealed that the headquarters is really the base of the Demon King. Aiming to uncover what her brother had forgotten, Fujiko uses the items her brother left behind to awaken the treasured dragon beast Peterhausen. The dragon beast reacts to an unknown catalyst, applied to be Kina, and replays a record of the events leading to Fujiko's brother's death, causing Fujiko to collapse. Then, an enraged Akudo confronts Peterhausen, soon becoming his new master despite his wishes. After that, the student council president kisses him as a reward for finding the treasure first. Now under observation by the government, Akudo is depressed to find out he cannot go to the seaside school on an island. However, Corona arranges for him to go by offering to take responsibility for him herself. But she makes constant attempts to bait him. Akudo then tries to enjoy going to the beach with Junko, but both Kina and Corona interrupt when the two were busy having fun. Later on, Hiroshi tells Akudo about the legend of the Demon King that is told by the people on the island. The legend says that the revival of the Demon King and the Dragon will call forth a legendary hero who will defeat them in battle, but Akudo is skeptical. Meanwhile, Lily Shireishi, informing Fujiko about the government's plan to use Akudo for its own benefit, says that she will handle this situation on her own. In a flashback, Hiroshi learns he is destined to become a hero. Back in the present, Kuro leaves after saying she has failed in her mission, which she hints at her failure to bait and manipulate Akudo. Yukiko Miwa Hiroshi's younger sister goes to Akudo to verify if he is truly the Demon King. After both Akudo and Hiroshi deny their destinies, Yukiko runs off in tears. Hiroshi later explains that beneath the legendary lake is a shrine inside a cave, where there is a sword in the stone. A mysterious man known as Mr. X awakens a mana-absorbing sea cucumber beast from the lake. Mr. X captures Yukiko, but Hiroshi and Kina try to fight back. However, Hiroshi is pummeled into the lake and Kina is captured. Akudo and Junko rescue Yukiko and Kina, but Mr. X sends the beast to destroy the village on the island, and then overwhelms Akudo with anti-magic attacks. After Akudo understands the secret behind Mr. X's attacks, Mr. X turns his attention to Junko, Yoriko, and Kina. Luckily, Koron returns just in time to stop Mr. X's attack. Meanwhile, Hiroshi goes to the shrine, pulls the sword out of the stone, and gains the powers of a hero. The sword gives Hiroshi the name Brave, and uses a plasma-like attack to eradicate the beast. Koron admits that she tried to seduce Akudo in order to teach him how to develop an intimate relationship with someone of status, like Junko, and she previously believed she had failed because it seemed like Akudo had fallen for Kina. Eventually, Akudo ponders if the hairpiece Kina wears is the same one he gave to her as an orphan child. Meanwhile, Fujiko wants to control a beast of her own, obtaining a demon beast egg after slaying a slug beast. An easygoing Kina still skips class constantly, much to Akudo's worry. Akudo does not realize that Junko actually has feelings for him, especially when Akudo busies himself trying to persuade Kina to attend class again. Later, Kina steals the demon beast egg from Fujiko in her sleep, soon hatching into a two-headed chicken beast. Akudo tries to attack the beast, but it evades. Luckily, Hiroshi quickly annihilates the beast before it causes further damage to the city. Koron later tells a depressed Junko to discuss an omie to Akudo with her parents. Without either of their input, it is decided that an omie is to be held at Junko's village. Junko, who has feelings for Akuto, is unable to tell him and so invites him to the village for other reasons. However, he knows nothing of the marriage interview, but feels responsible for the messes he has caused and decides to go with her regardless. There he meet Yuko Hattori, Junko's younger sister. She is not only revealed as a pop star idol, but she bears a scar on her neck of which was bitten by a demon beast long, long ago. That night, Junko readies herself and visits his room, where she lets him know why he was invited to the village. This leads to another misunderstanding as several clan members chase Akudo after seeing Junko in tears. As Akudo flees, he is confronted by Aiko, who tells him that the gods have decided Kina as a threat and orders her clan to eliminate Kina. On school grounds, Kina is saved by Boichiro Yamato, the leader of the Cabinet Intelligence Magic Office, for being assassinated. He only shows interest in making her his own to control the gods, calling her the principle of identity. Akuto uses his power to transport himself to the school grounds, but he realizes that Yamato surpasses him in strength. Fujiko then appears with a horde of demon beasts, and they all destroy the school grounds. 
As Akuto is unable to heal his wounds from Yamato's attacks, Yamato's subordinate, 2V, goes to Aiko to assemble the Haptori and Taria clans to join together in an epic battle against the Demon King, letting Junko and Yuko to take care of the Demon Beasts. Fujiko saves Akuto and Kina from Yamato and takes them on a three-headed dog beast towards the Student Council headquarters. Akuto summons the assistance of Peterhausen to stop the government's doing, taking flight of the city. While Hiroshi faces Akuto in battle, Junko and Yuko are to seek the device responsible for awakening the dragon beast. An aircraft carrier appears and attacks Akuto. Due to the work of 2V, Akuto is subsequently flattened by it. Afterwards, Lily stands outside school grounds to repel against the attempt of all the clan members to destroy the demon beasts surrounding the area. Finally, Yamato arrives at the headquarters and kidnaps Kina away from Fujiko. Aiko then uses Junko to protect herself and orders her to take out Lily. Even when all fails, Lily does her best to take out Aiko. Meanwhile, 2V uses his puppets to fight against the clan in order to force Lily on his side. However, Lily uses her ultimate attack on him, but he luckily manages to escape. When all hope is lost, Akuto is revealed to have survived 2V's attack from the aircraft carrier and Junko draws her family sword, given by her grandmother in order to side with the Demon King in the name of love and romance. Shortly after, Akuto defeats Hiroshi in the sky and carries him down to a forest for Yuko to look after him. Meanwhile, Yamato has taken Kina to the shrine and attempts to make the contract with the principle of identity, but Akuto appears and the battle begins in the presence of the gods. Finally, Akuto at last defeats Yamato and takes back Kina. He learns that the Demon King was created by the gods to make the contract with the principle of identity and destroy humanity. Akuto refuses and declares his intent to kill the gods, causing their defense system to activate. He then puts his life on the line to battle the gods and put an end to the story they have created. At the same time, Peterhausen gives Kina a dragon tooth as a memento for his predetermined death. Akuto and Kina reunite with the group. In the end, everyone starts a new semester at the academy, in which the battle of the Demon King altered the memories of those involved except Akuto, who is immune due to being the Demon King. However, Akuto is, once again, declared to be the future Demon King, and Junko and the others react the same way they did in the beginning, suggesting Akuto will have to start all over again with the same reputation and troubles.